Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three-minute rounds in the amateur bantamweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing BKK fighters, Ethan Lewis. Would you please welcome his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing GB Top Team, Zach Weight between Ethan Lewis, BKK Fires, hometown fighter, making his debut with those black violent money shorts, and he's squaring off with Zach Maunder, GB top team, 1 0 and 1. So he's not lost yet in his career. Three three minute rounds if we need them in this bantamweight division. Lewis comes out firing, pins Maunder up against the fence here in the early going. As the crowd's still catching their breath after that last fight, Nick. Yeah. But Zach Monder doing a good job of keeping good head placement here. Good balance here from Ethan Lewis making his debut here tonight in front of his hometown fans. Oh. Maunder's going to get him to the floor. And he's immediately into side control. Yeah, and he did it with that body lock. He stayed composed. And again, head placement in the right spot. I mean, Ethan has Jack Mason right in his ear right now, so they'd be able to instruct him on the do's and don't at this point. Jack and Lee Mitchell over in that corner, the BKK fighters coaches. Oh, I thought that was Fabio. Huh? I thought it was Fabio because, <laughs> you know, that hair. Yeah. He's changed things up a little bit. Wanda now looking, working for the back. He's got Lewis's back here. Trying to wrench that arm. Got, got the body, the body lock on. It's obviously good stuff early from Wanda. And Lewis having to fight through some adversity. Heavy punches as well from Wanda just under the arm. Now looking to snake the arm under the chin as Lewis looks to shake him off. Lewis needs to swim up and grab a hold of that head. With that body luck, he'll be able to stack him. It looks like Maunder's oh, got something head's here. Oh, that's it's nice and tight underneath. That is tight. This is, oh. Good, good work job by Lewis. Lewis. Forcing the arm up and over, fighting the hands. And escaping the danger for now. It's still a dominant position though for Maunder. In full mount. Wanda landing some heavy ground and pound here. As Lewis just looks to find any way of escaping. He's eating some punishment though. Yeah, Lewis has got to move at this point. Push off the hips. Trying to push off the knee. But Wanda's doing a good job of squeezing his knees together to still continue to control. Yeah, he's doing a great job here, Wanda on top. And Lewis can't get away from it. He's running from side to side, but he's getting peppered with punches. And now it's at high mount. Don't know how long Harry Selby's going to allow this to go on for. Now he's got that under the chin, has he? Again, Lewis fighting. It's right on the chin. Smarter looks over at Pickett to there we get go. instructions. He realized that there wasn't a lot of time. Pickett told him, just relax, don't waste energy, and he did it. And he needs to find something here to turn this around after that first round. And a lot of it will be, this is where first fight out, okay. I saw how that went. Let's change things up a little bit. Mona comes out very aggressive. Uh, but his Lewis chin's off, wide up in the air. He's arching that chin up. And again, now he's in on the, the body of Lewis. Looking to lock those hands together. It's 
for the knee. And again, he's got to circle off at this point. Wonder again looking to work for the takedown. Good balance from Lewis. He's trying to trip his man to the floor. Good bit of grappling, and Mondo had kept himself out of a bad position until now. So here we go again, then Maunders on the back. Hasn't quite got the body lock in, but he's certainly controlling Ethan Lewis here. Now he puts that body lock on. Let's see what Ethan Lewis can do here, because the arm is beginning to snake under that chin again. He's looking to trap Maunders' left arm, though. And now he's looking to do exactly what he needs to, which is get that arm to the other side of the head. Right into mount. That's the second time Mond has done that to move into mount. And again, he looks up, gets an idea. He actually, I think, looked up the screen to see how much time he had left. You've seen the answer is a minute to work here. Big punch there from Maunder on top. And Lewis here is just struggling to try to get out from underneath. Yeah, welcome to MMA here, this for Ethan Lewis. This is a tough debut. Now, whether it's trying to push the hips away or look to try to get back to the cage, Mondo looks like he's going to try for that arm triangle. I'm a firm believer in going all the way to the bicep with it, because then you can hang up the phone. So anytime somebody goes to hand on the phone, if you've got that full bicep, you can get it. It's going to be hard for him to try to finish it from here yeah, in the last eight seconds. Time. So he's going to decide just to ground and pound his way to the end of the round here. Zach Maunder, two dominant opening rounds then from Maunder. And Ethan Lewis again, slow to get back up. Just give me all you got in three minutes. You can rest all night long. So here we go. Let's see what you can find in three minutes. There's again, more. Oh! oh! Straight into a kick, but Lewis eats it. And now he's looking to plow forward. Great chin from Ethan Lewis. And now, Nick, he's got the takedown. He's got to be careful of his neck, though. Yeah, but do we just need to kick this kid in the head to get him <laughs> fired up or what? He's shown incredible fighting heart, Ethan Lewis, on his debut. He was exhausted in between rounds. He just took a solid shot right to the head. And now he's got to be careful of his arm. Yeah, he's got to stack him there, and he's got to look to try to get that good job, get that arm free, clear the legs, got to clear those legs. And the home crowd are urging Ethan Lewis to find something here in this last two minutes, 15 seconds. What a turnaround this would be. I mean, I, I'm already impressed by the fact that he was able to take that oh. shot. Oh, and now right into the triangle. And that is tight from Very Zach Maunder, throwing up all these submissions. What can Ethan Lewis do here? He's fought them all off so far, but he is in serious trouble. Good job by Ethan Lewis to get his hips out to be able to bust the head. Wow, Ethan Lewis is showing serious, serious fighting heart and courage here on his debut. Permata, you gotta be thinking, what do I gotta do to this kid to get him out of here? My Robocop. Now Maunders on top again. Lewis still fighting, still struggling. I see him taking a huge deep breath, giving it everything he's got. And again, he, he, he's looking at that arm and he's thinking, okay, I'll throw up a triangle choke. So he's trying to set it up. Now we're looking to pass. Yeah, he's passed into half guard here. OK, 
can Ethan Lewis find a way to get back to his feet here? Or I mean, with 48 seconds left, this is kind of the Hail Mary time. Now, now he's being smart and he's trying to lock down in hopes for a stand-up. But even a stand-up, I mean, he's got to start to work some sort of counter sweep. And he's not going to get stood up from here. No. Wanda's just worked into side control. And now he's going over Neon Belly into the mount again. And now he's in the mount. And Ethan trying to lock down that head so he can't posture up. With 10 seconds left. And Maunder just putting the exclamation point now on this victory as he's raining down some more ground and pound. Looking for the finish. I don't think he's going to have time. And there we go. Just runs out. Zach Maunder, very impressive display, but equally. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 30-25, 30-27, and 30-24. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Zach Mounta!